<laughs> this has been your best intro, Jake. This. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh, it's so oh, not okay. true, but I've patted my back anyway. <laughs> Hi, apparently I'm the I'm the center square today. Um, my name is Richard, uh, and I am a podcaster. I have two podcasts. I do interview uh, with a nerd and also Awkward Human Survival Guide. And if you go check out the latest episode, I believe that's the one with Catherine. Oh. To my left? I don't know, whatever. Uh, it's, it's, it's Catherine. Uh, she's you on your upper I, right on my screen. Uh, not on mine. We're all different. Uh, uh, this is fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, I play a uh, Triton um, sorcerer. Uh, <laughs> we'll figure it out. It's it's very early in the morning. <laughs> uh, his name is Niolus Nymerith. He just got his sister back-ish, and he was a real bitch about it last week. Um, yeah, if you want to follow me on social media, it's Lev Richard C. Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I love <it. laughs> He's a real what? bitch to her. But if you want to follow me on social media. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or unfollow him. Yeah. 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 <laughs> unfollow him after that. He's got a fancy website too, and I'm jealous of uh Ooh. Ooh, I gotta check oh, that out. I which what? website? I'm like, what? <laughs> but you have multiple websites. Um the, uh like your guys' main uh, awkwardhuman.com yeah yeah one. there's it's, a lot of stuff there it's super pretty Thank all right you. uh let's go to justin hey i'm justin matson um i'm yeah i'm playing the character sarah sierra who's a purple witch it's like a homebrew class um i think i'm eight feet tall and i uh i have blue skin and green hair and uh yeah i'm uh, uh, i'm on twitter at justin matson and in los angeles on december 6th i'm filming a stand-up special and i need everyone to come <laughs> so please Yay. come uh 8 p.m and 10 p.m at oh my ribs in hollywood december 6th yeah that's the promo we've been cool. looking for yeah. <laughs> i'm there <laughs> i don't think last week i understood the oh my ribs it's the name of a theater in Hollywood. Yeah, but the uh, it's a comedy theater, I assume, right? So it's yeah, like, yeah. Oh, my ribs, I'm laughing you, so yeah, hard. My ribs. Yeah, yeah, I didn't get that last week, and I just got it. So. And it's also were... a place where brutal murders take place. <laughs> also, very tasty uh, baby back ribs. Yeah, yeah. It, oh, it really is a catch-all. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's pork ribs as well as human baby ribs. So. Oh, no, uh, sad. No, that doesn't... That, right next door is all my cribs. <laughs> <laughs> it's a funny... They funnel it. They funnel the, the, the crib inhabitants. <laughs> all right, Dave. We got dark this week. <laughs> yeah hey everybody i'm dave roderick um comedian slash engineer um i'm playing a character uh called uh prodding rod you can call me proddy for short and i'm a kenku warlock i'm a four foot tall uh crow with no wings and uh i have a celestial uh kind of packed going so i'm trying to learn more about that and get my wings back yeah 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 you can follow me at uh D Rod three. That's it. Cool. <laughs> uh, Catherine. Uh, hello, my name is Catherine Elise. You can find me online at Catherine, not IRL. That's Catherine, K A T H E R I N E, not 
IRL. Uh, someday I will like do a better job with that. But I know that so many people spell Catherine differently. So I just feel like I have to clarify every time. Um, I play Aradia Nightsong, who is a drow monk. She is a part of the Cobalt Soul uh, clan, which it still exists now because we're in we're back in the time frame where it exists, right? Yeah, um, just okay. not as as uh, um, as it once was exalted as when you joined it. Yes, that's true. Um, it's very sad. And uh, Aradia, despite being a drow that lives in creepy, crawly places, loves hugs. Yeah. <laughs> hugs and bugs. Hugs and bugs, baby! All right. It's and- another reason to say all my ribs. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, while you're following them, follow Venture Ventures on Twitter, and you can also get their uh, socials on Venture Ventures. And I finally updated the Venture Ventures dot live or dot live, depending on how you read it, website, <laughs> um, which has all of our episodes. And I'm slowly, slowly um, editing the episodes we do have, and I will upload them to YouTube at some point in the future. Okay, little recap: the Big Bed Fellows. Uh, did a job for Max Morningbrow at Venture Ventures Adventuring Agency. Uh, had a bunch of jobs to choose from. Chose to investigate the death whistle at the docks um, with the promise of helping some very powerful and rich individuals. Um, they didn't get a price for that job because nobody had any idea what would be involved in getting rid of it, whether it was just a trumpet playing rat, which would probably net them two gold, or a trumpet playing ancient dragon, which would net them a lot more. Uh, But they went down there, investigated, eventually came to a a bunch of chanting cloaked figures, and... uh, the environment was very wobbly and um, soapy, for lack of a better term. Very similar to the movie, um, the recent movie with Natalie Portman. Annihilation! Yes. <laughs> Guys, that went so well. We practiced that for weeks. Where we just <laughs> say it all at the same time. That went so good. Annihilation! <laughs> Yeah, we were supposed to harmonize, but I'll let that go. Uh, we can do it again. It's fine. No. Okay, everybody just start over. Um, and then once they came out of the sewers in which this was taking place, uh, they noticed some weird stuff happening. Um, the buildings were no longer being held up by the magical arcane fountains that permeate the city. And there were bugbears walking around, as well as uh, goblins and all sorts of nasties. Um, Eventually, they found their way to Max, who was just not in a good place, drinking a lot of alcohol. And he um, led them to some... the resistance, for lack of a better term. And... uh, Had a few encounters, rode a warehouse, W-E-R-E, house, Uh, (laughs) which is essentially just like a big construct type thing with, um, I guess you'd call it just a, yeah, like a, like a Jaeger, um, (laughs) and, uh, had an encounter with a mythical assassin, ran from it, got to the Isle of Inn, and met some sphinxes, and did some puzzles, and... Well, one of us did some puzzles. No, no, no. <laughs> Give yourself credit. <laughs> well, not credit. Don't give yourself credit for Catherine doing the riddles. <laughs> oh, right. The other puzzles. Yeah, yeah never mind. The baking thing. Yeah, the baker. Uh, yeah. 
give yourself credit for that one, and uh, as well as eventually getting the uh, the uh, prestidigitation puzzle, which you know. I now part- he can say it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I partially did for you, Dave, because it it triggered my imagination when one time you had a hard time saying prestidigitation, and I could relate because I have a hard time saying it as well. <laughs> and the Sphinx has helped you out. And uh, also Max on his... his uh, sacrificed himself. Sacrificed himself oh, for yeah. you guys to that assassin, the drow assassin. And uh, gave, I you, remember. gave you his secret stash of stuff. Um, but the Sphinx helped you go back in time, and that's where we left off. Uh, on the Isle of Inn, back where you belong... Back in the time you belong. And uh, Nihilus, I forgot, I neglected to mention that. Nihilus found his sister Mm -hmm. not in good shape. Yeah, it was a beautiful reunion. (laughs) Yeah, it could have been. It could have been. Um, Just just did not turn out that way. Nihilus is a little harsh. Uh, (laughs) And uh, that's where we are now. You guys are... uh, in the middle of this island and the island is it has an outer ring around it um with dragon's blood sh- trees which is a real tree um and that's kind of like the more nature portion of the island and then in the center um there's a, a islands just sticking up uh towering islands that uh, are pockmarked on top as well as on the side with uh, buildings also kind of similarly being held up by arcane magic. Um, And this is known as like a party island or it's called the Isle of Inn and there's brothels, taverns, uh, as well as temples all mixed together in what is ref- uh, affectionately called Brotava Temples. And... Um, or, as I like to call them, Brotava Temples. Or, or, uh... Temp- uh let's, what's another mix of it? Uh, uh, Temtabethel? You, you could have just laughed. You could have just laughed and I would have felt so good. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I was trying to, like... Just riff off of it. Yes, and, and you were trying to yes and me, yeah. but I just wanted validation real quick because I haven't coffee yet. So right over, right over the head. Um, and so, as I described last time, uh, there are magical uh, tubes, for lack of a better term, jutting out through the islands from below, kind of. Uh, just meshing their way through the islands uh, that are uh, holding up these buildings. And they were a lot more dull last time when you were in the future. Now they're very vibrant and almost serve as uh, special effects almost. Um, And now that you're back in time as well, these Taverns, it's almost like Vegas. There, there's magical effects going on. It's very bright. Uh, there's music you can hear everywhere. It's almost like a mix between the strip and. Um, is it called Bourbon Street in. Uh, yes. New Orleans? Yeah. New Orleans, yeah. yeah. And uh, so there's a lot of drunks around you. And as you land, the Sphinx takes off. People, like, froze once they saw a Sphinx. It's a fucking Sphinx. Um, and then just disappeared. And uh, we'll say... We'll say Prodi took a step. Just do, looking around. And when that happened, this rune glyph activated on the ground. And uh, you couldn't have known... And this real loud roar just went up, and this ghastly, um, beautiful, actually, uh, ghost 
Do any of you speak? Um, let me see what language I wrote down. I speak common, deep speak, elvish, and undercommon. Yeah, that might point. help. Actually, what does everyone speak? I speak uh, common, elvish, giant, and beasts and plants. Yeah. Richard? Primordial and common. Dave? Um, I speak Oren, celestial, common, and gnomish. Okay. Um, That's a pretty good um, mix, but uh, this is in a different language you don't understand. Um, (laughs) None of us can actually... (laughs) <laughs> None of us can actually speak to humans uh, or yeah. to people very well. Yeah. No matter, even if we understand the technicality. Um, but it, it's uh, people start laughing once they see this. Like um, they start, oh, you! S- <laughs> they stepped on the rune. What a bunch of rubes! Um, <laughs> and when you look down, it's just like. There's tagging around this magical rune, um, and some of it says, like, watch your step. Um, So something happened here that left a mark that uh, I guess is just kind of like a repeating, um, almost like a just alarm. Uh, But nothing you can tell happened, so, and people don't seem freaked out by it, so... um, that's what happened there. And I described last time the types of establishments around you. And would you like, what would you like to do? Wait, I'm sorry. So we stepped on a rune and people laughed at us, but did it, we don't, we don't notice anything. No. Happened. And like a, a, um, spectral, uh, n- uh, not formed, just kind of like a, a shapeless thing shot up from the ground and went into nothingness. And uh, people started laughing, and then they just went about their partying and drinking and carousing. Okay. <laughs> also, you guys have heard of the Isle of In for a number of reasons, for its partying, its Brotava temples. Um, also, for the Chaos Crawl, which is a a um just a well-known world-renowned um bar crawl essentially uh but you guys are in the middle of the island and you'd have to start well you'd have to ask someone about it i'm giving you too much information so what (laughs) would you like to do um Well, first and foremost, uh, we need some money, right? We need some money, but also maybe we need a drink. Those are my two uh, speculations. Uh, Sarah's going to flirt with people and then sell her body for money. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) Certainly try, Sarah. (laughs) (laughs) That escalated so fast. That's Uh, what I'm talking about. Use what you got. (laughs) <laughs> uh, Prati offers uh, Aradia some of the uh, perpetual gin. There you go. Uh, did you guys put on the the uh, message snakes? I yes, they no, all forced should... it on us. I oh yeah, that's right. I, I don't know if we put them on, but I, I I'll put mine in now. Yes, we're officially putting them in. Okay. Yeah. It's official. Oh, yeah, so, I, think, I think I jammed it in people's ears without. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. I think you did yeah, too. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, when you put it in, uh, it feels a little funky and uh, depending on how you are with your ears, scary. Uh, but it just forms in the crook, crooks and crannies. I don't even know if I'm using nooks and crannies. You know what? You know what? It's crooks in D and D. Crooks and nannies is fine with me, man. I actually freaking looked at like what they're actually called because I got interested. I was like, "What are the freaking ridges in in your ear?" And they have names for it. And I told them to you last time, and um, now I'm going to tell you again. <laughs> <laughs> I say Franks and Beans. Actually, no, I'm not because I didn't pull it up. So, 
Uh, <laughs> we move on. You can listen to episode 10 on uh, uh, Thank SoundCloud. You guys. Where do we listen? Where do you go? <laughs> it's on iTunes. It's on Stitcher. It's on Google Play. It's on wherever you listen to podcasts. It's on your nearest RSS feed, which you can find at VentureVentures.live or live. Nice. Yes. Okay. Cross promotion. Always be doing it. Do you guys see um, at one of the bars, which is called, uh, come on, Jake, get your shit together. All right. Um, it is called the uh, Guttered Gurn. Uh, <laughs> yes, Guttered Gurn. Uh, there's like a little lizard sitting on a uh like a pedestal outside the bar talking to someone and he's kind of looking at you and he's got a mug of ale next to him can we go to like a fancy bar maybe a <laughs> sure. very high end bar where sure. maybe people are wearing diamonds <laughs> sure uh <laughs> For no particular reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I, <laughs> how are you going to pay for stuff? Is Well, Sarah's going to sell her body. I think we determined yeah. that already. <laughs> I think you think she can pull a high-end high end trick? Yeah, I think she can pull yeah. a high-end trick. I'm ready for this. Yeah. So there's the piecing key, which uh, is down the road a bit. Um very central to the ne the um, tower in the center of the island. Um, but but is it, the AC central? Because that's... <laughs> uh, you, you can find out. Um, okay. How many stars on Yelp? Uh, <laughs> it's actually uh, Drelp. Uh, Drelp. Oh, oh, I see. Uh, you'd have to look it up. Um, but it's not very busy. This one seems kind of... It's being... It looks nice, but it's not as busy as other other bars, and it's pretty uniformly busy because people are hop bar hopping. And um, this particular one looks very nice. And when you were going through the Arbor District of Innis, um, which is a nicer area of the northern city. Uh, it, there's similar accoutrements in terms of uh, n uh, niceties and uh, just being more high end. Um, but yeah, there's the peace and key. Let's see. You want more, or do you? Is that? Um, I that mean, might, uh, it sounds that might great. Be fine for me. Um, I'm gonna whisper to all my friends. I'm gonna try to get a diamond off of someone because I'm gonna need it in the future. Just go along with me, okay, you guys? We're stealing a diamond. I think when you originally said to us, let's go somewhere where there are diamonds, <laughs> we understood what okay. that was about. This, this is Ocean's Four right now. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm ready. The person, uh, the person we steal it from has to deserve it. They all yeah. deserve it. As important. They all deserve it. <laughs> Okay. Don't we Good enough for me. Being rich is a cardinal sin. So everyone <laughs> deserves it. They all deserve it. <laughs> Go ahead and make a perception check, Nihilus. Ooh, okay. Um, that is a 15 plus. What's my perception? Uh, for, uh, 16. Yeah, so you, you notice that there are... Um, People uniformly dressed uh, with uh, black uh, garments on and like black overcoat, and they have um, uh, white collars, almost like priests, but not not the uh, the single white part. Uh, I don't know what it's called. I'm not Catholic. I'm sorry. Also not knowledgeable on that. So that's more <laughs> my bad. It, I don't have to be Catholic to know that. Um, uh, and they wear these pointy hats, uh, pointy hats that go up and then they come out, um, and they, uh, have badges on, so, um, you can 
look closer if you want. Um, but I just wanted you to know that. Uh, okay. I, I walk up to one and go, hey, what's that badge? Are you important? Oh, yeah. Are you, you must be new here. Um, yeah, we are the... Um, I'm a member of the uh, Ministry of Carousal. We're like the local uh, police force of the island. We just make sure there's a level of carousing we allow and uh, you know, we don't want it to get out of hand, so you know, we want you to have fun, so get drunk and you know, all that stuff, but don't um, get too out of hand. Uh, you know, we just want right. to... Go ahead. Oh, Aradia sidles up to Sarah and looks at the minister and goes, has anyone told you that you're very carousing? Oh, st- <laughs> stop. Stop. <laughs> And he's got like a big I thick actually, uh, <laughs> mustache. A radio goes, I'm not actually attracted to you. I just love puns. Oh, well, you know, I'm flattered oh, no. anyway. Oh no, everything's <laughs> frozen. <laughs> oh, I'm frozen. Am I frozen for everyone? No. Okay, uh, not for me. Um oh now she's oh, frozen. No. Yep, oh. there we go. Oh no. Um I I froze on a punchline. It was the worst thing that's ever happened. <laughs> uh, yeah, as I was saying, he's he was he was just like, oh, I'm still flattered. It's fine. You, I'm just you're very nice. Uh, but have a good time uh, wherever you go. And if you're doing the uh, chaos crawl, please, please, please make sure you pay the insurance policy. Uh, trust me, you'll want to do that. Most people don't finish it. Most people hurt themselves, and we try to prevent people from stealing from you when you're passed out wherever you pass out in the chaos crawl, but, uh, you know, just... Hey, the... She froze again? <laughs> Did I? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, your face is frozen. We can hear you. We oh, good, you. good. Okay, well, that's enough. I'll take it. I can hear all of you, which I will take. Uh, uh, Sarah asks, uh, where do they usually pass out on the chaos crawl, and are they wearing diamonds when they do? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> well, it's de- like a more dangerous part of the crawl. Well, it depends. Some people get stuck on uh, the uh, annoying leg ale houses, um, various drinks. Uh, they make a fine gin and tonic there. Um, but it really depends on some people are stupid enough to like pregame before they do the chaos crawl because they think they can handle it. And they think they're warming up just for whatever reason, like it's a race. Uh, so it really depends. I mean, this the Chaos Crawl, I don't know how familiar you guys uh, are with it, but it goes starts on the western edge of the island, and it goes um, around the outside edge, and it curls in spiraling to about where we are right now. And um, oh, so this is the end of the crawl, right? And wow. uh, right and as these are most vulnerable, <laughs> yeah. And right, right as he says that, um, you see one of his fellow ministers dragging someone out of the out of the gutter and putting him on this multi layered cart, which seems to be uh, expressly made for this purpose of putting drunk people into the. Any, any did the chaos crawl, but also just got too drunk, um, and it rotates up and kind of like so. So it's you mean a city bus? Is that... <laughs> no, 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 like it's a cart that rotates up, so you don't have to lift a heavy drunk person to a high point. So it's always just the empty spot is on the bottom. If that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So uh, to the. Uh, are you guys done with him, or what would you like to do? I think we should, like, wait for, like, someone drunk to pass out and then steal their diamonds. I mean, I, I say this to the, <laughs> not to the ministers. <laughs> <laughs> the we, only, are... we only take the, um, <laughs> the little <laughs> tasks that require the most bravery. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, as I said in previous episodes, uh, diamonds are harder to come by than they are in our own world, as well as other D&D worlds, and they're, um, 
controlled by a faction um and i just want to make sure i got it right the first time as i told you guys earlier the zekin collective was what it was called um but they uh, will just say that's right and i'll retcon it later um i think it's right but anyways um they they control the diamonds the diamond trade uh so people aren't resurrecting constantly and bad people aren't doing that and there's other implications for that in a plainer sense um so you're not gonna see like if you go to a nice bar in la you're not gonna see the same amount of people wearing diamonds or if you go to a nice restaurant, you're not going to see the same amount of diamonds in that restaurant as you would in this world. So I just want to make that clear and reiterate that. Um, I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm just saying it may take more time than you think. Like, you're, you're not just going to, there's a diamond. Okay, let's. <laughs> you're, you're making it hard on us, uh, Jake. <laughs> it's the world you're in. I just, <laughs> you had an option to, um work for the Zekin Collective um, and that We problem. get it, we get it, we make all the wrong choices, we know <laughs> <laughs> You made a beautiful choice by going down into the uh, the death whistle because it, you time traveled and I was super excited about that Oh good, thank you, thank you um, Just so you know, you're all frozen on my screen, so I can only assume I'm frozen on yours Yes. Yep. Uh, been frozen yeah. for a while. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good. Well, you can't see how adorable I'm looking right now. I'll do my makeup <laughs> in the meantime, so when I unfreeze, it'll be like a magic trick. She thinks she's she's frozen, but she's just flipping us off, and she thinks she, we can't see it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, it sounds key. like we need to go on this this chaos crawl. I'll just be completely honest. I think we need to go on the chaos crawl. Okay. That sounds like a our, good time. Is there like a goal, like just to have fun and get drunk, or are we trying to like do some ret like undercover work or anything? <laughs> I mean, we were sent here for a goal, sent back. <laughs> to oh yeah, we had to like save. The oh, goal. that's right. That's right. That's right. I, I don't. I don't know. I feel like we could have some fun before we do that. We're we've been well, under a lot of stress. Also, let's think about the fact that when people are drunk, they give out information way easier. So maybe we just get less yeah. drunk than them and find mm -hmm. out, you know, maybe where your sister is, maybe if there's any cool things we can do for money, you know. Love the, that. Does it include selling your body? Uh, yeah, we could, we could multitask. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. Uh, Sarah says, let's get drunk. I want to get drunk. Okay. Yeah. So let me pull up a couple things here. You guys are making your way back west to the start of the Chaos Crawl, which is uh, the bar is called Start Here! Exclamation point. Uh, <laughs> and um, the islands uh, obviously have connecting bridges and stuff, but also some connections are actual establishments that you have to walk through, so um, they've uh, engineered themselves so like there's a central walking point in the establishment with the bar portions, restaurant portions, whatever portions on the outskirts, kind of like you're walking through Disneyland, certain parts of Disneyland. Um, uh, okay, and you notice also that the the roads um, are black pavement, black stone, normal stone, but certain portions of the uh, cobblestone is like a bluish, kind of like a light sky blue type of stone, and you can um, figure out that this is probably the stone that leads you on the chaos crawl throughout the whole island, because um, as you're bisecting the island, um, you're walking across the perpendicular two portions of the chaos crawl blue stone uh, but eventually you make yourself uh you make your way to the start here bar and uh outside uh there's a bouncer and then there's another portion where you see like 
just some uh, young-ish, she looks young, halfling lady, uh, just kind of bored, looking at her nails, and just bored. Um, and it says above her, uh, chaos crawl information. Uh, Aradia approaches and says, hello, we would like to get drunk. Okay, so you you, you want to do the chaos crawl, I'm assuming, because you came to the crit, yeah. All right, um, you know everything. You're lovely. You are too. <laughs> Thanks. Um, <laughs> uh, do, you, do you know everything there is to know about the chaos crawl you know that nobody's responsible uh, about what happens to you and any of your possessions uh, at the end of the crawl if you make it you are given free pass five free passages um, into the any tube uh, arcane artery Whatever they're calling Ew. it nowadays. What's the fifth one for? The, f- uh, the fifth pass. Oh, there's five passes. I'm sorry if I misspoke. Uh, there's you get if you complete the chaos crawl, each of you gets five free passes. Uh, oh, okay, uh-huh. got to it. go down a tube and try and win or fight or essentially. Uh, and they, she looks at your face, confused faces, and she goes, "Oh, okay." Um, <laughs> so, legend has it is is that the the in twins, Innis and Ista, started this the city on top of a titan, a buried titan underneath the continent of Envir, and the Isle of In is where one of the heads is or was and these arcane tubes you see around you that are flashing various lights and whatnot uh the legend is is that th- those are its once were it its arteries or lifeblood or or maybe the in twins uh. built the tubes the slides i've heard they're a lot of fun depending on which one you choose but unfortunately they they change so you don't really know where you're going when you go in these tubes. And uh, a lot of people don't make it out. So, oh. um, But many people have uh, fucking Gurn. You guys, have you guys been past the guttered Gurn? Or the Peace and Key, I'm sorry. Gurn. Yeah. Gurn uh, We've been past both, yes. So there, there's... The proprietor of the gutter or the piece and key is uh, Gern Darfinowitz, and he's a real fucking prick. Nobody likes him. Uh, no. And I, you guys went by it. You see how like nobody was there. He is. Mm-hmm. I don't know how he keeps the place open, but that place has been open since anyone can remember. It's the oldest establishment here. There are a few um, really old establishments on the island. Um. Uh, and and the peace and key is one uh, is one of them, as well as the annoying leg ale, ale house, which was started by his ex wife, um, and the gopping head is another old one. And uh, guttered gurn was started by ex adventurers who actually went down into the Titan, found a bunch of riches, and uh, bought the the um establishment and named it as essentially a fuck you to gurn uh because they hate him mm-hmm. uh yeah so those are some of the f- most famous ones um anyways gurn rumor he's nobody knows how old he is they just know he's a real big prick and people think he went down in there with hit an adventuring party they assume People say he killed them down there and took all the treasures they found and came back up and just lives off of that. And um, but some people think he's he found something down there that he either made a deal with something, found something that he took or put on his person that made him immortal, um, 
But essentially, everyone hates Gurn. Nobody fucks with Gurn. Um, uh, yeah. So, uh, that's about the tubes. Nobody knows. Some of them are pretty consistent as to where they go, but those have been rooted out, and there's not a lot of adventure, or, or uh, there's not a lot of riches to be gained, and some of them are less traveled. Obviously, the, the, the more sketchy ones, the higher reward. Um, but, uh, yeah, so you'll get five free passes if you complete the Chaos cr Crawl. Yes, uh, Drow. <laughs> Yes, I have it. Thank you for not knowing my name. Um, the, I, do have a, I mean, you wouldn't, so thank you for not. Um, I had a, <laughs> um, I had a uh, question. So it sounds like the purpose of these is not necessarily... Nobody wants Gurn rescued. We're not trying to rescue him. Oh, he's but out. There might be something... Oh. Yeah, like he made yeah. it out. Oh, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. I see. I understand. Um, uh, but the uh, the purpose of, like, going down there is it's to, like, have fun and see what you can find. Yeah, adventurers, an some, a lot of adventurers come to the island and they're just there to go into the, the Titan. Uh, nobody knows how many levels. Uh, people say you could spend your whole life down there just finding treasure and stuff uh but um would treasure also include money and diamonds those yeah. are two things we're interested yeah. in yeah uh, everything uh magic weapons uh, everything uh i wanted to give you a high five nihilus that's what i does thought it, wanted. no no that's not does what it require I more <laughs> does it require more bravery than um pickpocketing drunk passed out people <laughs> <laughs> yeah she just, uh, uh, she just says, "Yep." Hi, hi, Chica, yes. over here. Um, <laughs> okay, so what, 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 what is the rule? What, it, what do we have to do while going through this pub, uh, 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 pub crawl? Is it like one drink per tavern, or like, what, can I just, you know, have a, a sip here and there? Like, what, what, every, what is the the rule to win? Every tavern is different, at, uh, but at start here, and there's. You know, I think it's 43, um, 43 stops on the crawl, uh, but everyone is different. I start here, it's just a shot you start with, um, wow. and then at the end, it's also a shot. So it doesn't sound <laughs> too bad. And, and what is this insurance I heard of? Do you uh, recommend it? Yeah, we're kind of... It's been a busy... It's been pretty busy on the island lately. Um, you know, they tell me to sell that shit, like, you know, push it. Uh, I don't... As you can tell, I don't like my job, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I would say it's... It's just like any insurance. It's um, You're buying a little bit of peace of mind, but it you obviously don't need it when you don't, and you do need it when you do. It's only, you know, five gold um, for insuring ten times that amount. Does that make sense? Ooh. So if you want yes. to insure a hundred gold worth of stuff, it's ten gold. Okay, okay, okay. I see what you're putting down here. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I don't mind spending it because, unfortunately for me, I came into this whole thing with a lot of gold. Are you saying, are you saying that to her? <laughs> I'm saying it to, to, the, uh, to, the, to the everyone here. <laughs> and how much gold okay, do you have? we get it. <laughs> I personally have 54 gold. Oh wow! Ooh. Wow! We all Ooh. got paid quite a good amount the last time we got paid. Oh, did, did we? Did we? Yeah, <laughs> I remember. I felt, like, I felt like we each got five. Now I'm like looking at my notes. <laughs> I'm looking at my sheet. I, it says I have fifteen gold. So maybe it was that's more than five each. I maybe I think it was like ten each. At least. 
Okay, so I have 15. Listen, votes. I'm down. Okay. I'll do it. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. It's fine for me. We, so we only have to drink 43 alcohols? That's <laughs> not so <insult> at all. <laughs> you do get, uh, you do get, uh, two short rests. If that, oh. Of, of, uh, Three hours, so okay, okay, great. Well, that's all I need. <laughs> I'm just gonna black out for a few hours and then drink some more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna hand over some five golds to her. So you're insuring fifty gold. Is, is there a way to calculate how much our property is worth? Uh, well, you know how, like in with renters insurance it's um essentially up to them okay when something yeah. happens so, so like is, like you you know kind of better than i do about how much stuff i have like uh what would you say the r- rough the street value is if i sold myself <laughs> today <laughs> like do i have 50 gold worth of stuff or or like I'd say all of. I mean, especially after what Max gave you guys, I'd say you have a hell of a lot more than that. Um, okay. Because. Uh, all right. Well, I would say. I mean, you guys. Yeah. No, you guys have a lot more. In my. Opinion. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna buy ten gold worth of wow. insurance. Yeah, I'm wow. just hoping I get beat up at this point. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. You know what? I'm going to match that. <laughs> I'm putting five more in. <laughs> Do you have earthquake insurance? Or <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> uh, no. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> and then I'll just stick to the regular. Uh, so okay. you can't, so you can't bring to... anything in with you? Uh, to... to w- yeah. The tubes. Oh no! You you better come prepared to the tubes if you're going. But you guys are doing the chaos crawl, right? Right, right, right. Okay. Like, yeah, if we you do get... the chaos crawl, you can come at, back at any time to adventure in 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 the Titan. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to do any insurance. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I've only got 14 gold. I'm not going to pay like five gold to. Yeah. Ugh. Well, bad. because I yeah. because it's not just insurance for gold, right? It's for our other stuff. Yeah, I don't. I don't have. I only. I have the max uh, perpetual gin thing, and the and I have the bronze thing. But yeah, hmm. you, you you would. Um, that's priceless, and to some people, it would be worth. Uh, it would essentially allow you to buy Doomerville <laughs> to the right buyer if you sold that piece. <laughs> yeah. um, so, you know. Uh, but, uh, you know, I you talk to the Ministry I mean, if I lose arousal, it, I'm fucked anyway, so it just doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't think insurance would cover that, right? <laughs> uh, it would cover the whatever you bought, <laughs> like... Um, but yeah, but if I insure it for, like, a hun- if I insure a hundred... Dollar, 100 gold value. It's not like I can take that 100 and yeah. get no. a new bronze. No. So it's like, that's no point. Um, 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 okay. Aradia is giving five. Five gold. Yeah, I, I changed my mind. I take five gold back. <laughs> <laughs> Trotty really made a hard sell for us. <laughs> no, that's smart, yeah. No, I was I... keeping the 10 in there. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up forging, so <laughs> give me my shot, girl. You gotta go in. I don't. Oh, oh, you're not the bo- <laughs> okay. Prodi goes in. <laughs> I love your nails. Bye. Oh, thank you. Uh, uh I do. I get a wristband or anything? Uh, yeah. She no actually. Good point. Yeah. She um. She takes this big, old-looking ain't uh wooded uh stamp thing and when she hits your your hand she asks for your whatever hand you want to give her and when she hits your hand you feel a little get a little warm and then when she removes it it's like red and kind of almost like she scarred you but it's not that painful and then it your skin rises and then goes back and so you see this 
this um, spiral imprinted on your hand now uh, of a red it looks like a red not permanent tattoo so is it the spiral of the 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 yeah. crawl? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, and is there like a tracker? Is there like yeah. a red dot that'll show us where we're at? Yep. Oh, oh, that's fun. I I walk like in past ass. security and go like, oh, I'm with the DJ." Uh, he, ch- <laughs> he chuckles <laughs> and, I, and waves uh, you. It's this bu- it's this uh this um uh, <laughs> fucking Goliath. Why couldn't I remember the term? It's a Goliath. So you guys are about the same height, and he waves you in. Um. And you come into... It's a pretty small bar. Uh, not a lot of people in it. There's a few older people. And then there's a uh, human uh, woman just polishing a glass. Uh, and she looks up and sees you. Kind of like, oh, fur bulk. Okay. And... She looks down like she's looking for your hand. Are you guys coming in at this point, I assume? Yes. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll take a lemon water. <laughs> she, 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 she laughs hard at that. She's, she, she liked that joke. She goes, that's the best one I've heard all night. Uh, so you're doing the chaos crawl. Get you a shot. Uh, and is it just you or? No, no, no. We're all. Yeah. Okay, four shots, and she. Pulls... We're BFFs. We're on a a bachelor party, <laughs> like a wedding. <laughs> okay. And we're all getting married to each other. It's very exciting. <laughs> oh, congratulations. We'll see. You know, this may bring you closer together or further apart. We'll see. Uh, so. Uh, she pours you a drink of this brackish liquid, and it smells like whiskey. It doesn't look clear. Like, it doesn't look like a high-quality whiskey, but she pours it out and and in front of you guys, and you got a shot. So... All right. Bottoms up. Let's okay. do it. Clean, clean. We should cheers. Here, let's make a big cheers to something. Cheers to us navigating through time. Um, and still being alive to tell the tale. Oh. Ah. Clink, clink. <laughs> oh. You know, if we weren't at 11 a.m., I would make us really do a drinking game. But you know what? Yeah. This is a good thing. This is the reason why we're doing it later. Or we're doing it earlier. But I'll, I'll, I'll do a shot of coffee. <laughs> Real wild. Okay. Uh, she goes... Let me give you guys some advice. Uh, oh, okay. I like you guys. You're do pretty not, hot too. Do not, uh, <laughs> you know, add to your drinks. Just drink what the bare minimum is what I'm trying to tell you. Um, oh, deal. <laughs> Definite <laughs> yeah, deal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I, uh, yes. Did, did Katie out there tell you Katie. Katie. Her name, of course, is Katie. Uh, She's such a Katie. Did Katie tell you uh, (laughs) that there's uh, 44 stops, or did she get that wrong again? I think we had 43. Uh, Yeah. 44 sounds right. I swear Uh. that girl. Um, Yeah. So there's 44 stops, and depending on who's pouring the drinks, some. You know, at each place, some people are are uh, more strict about protecting the protecting the chaos crawl. I would suggest, if you can, schmoozing as many bartenders as you can to be nice to you with the pours they give you for certain drinks. Okay. Do you know if they are ever like, yes, have some beer instead? There, like, there's instead usually of liquor. Um, and it depends on the bartender, uh, but there's usually no uh, substitutions. But like I okay. said, being friendly is going to get you further than not. Uh, okay, well, I'm everyone loves me. So this is great. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> uh, 
And uh, oh. she says, well, good luck, guys. Uh, not many people... Uh, I think I've only heard this month it's been... Like, three groups have completed it all together, and then... You know... So it's not impossible. That's... that's Yeah. Uh, exciting. So the hard part is keeping a full group uh, going through the whole thing. Ooh. People get distracted, okay. you know, once you're into, mm-hmm. like, 20. Mm-hmm. Um, that feels right. Uh, you know, you're, you'll be going through some brothels, and some of them are more aggressive than others, and some of them just would rather do other things. Sarah Sierra thrives in a brothel. Yeah, I can't wait. No. I think we're gonna. All right, be uh, just well, let's. Fine. We better get going. We got forty-four of these. So gonna, <laughs> oh, what was your so name? Much. What was What was your name, by the way, before we leave? Catherine. Oh, Katie and Katie Catherine. Catherine. Like, I Katie feel personally that. attacked. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, that's right. Never mind. It's not me. I'm not attacked. Radio's fine. Okay, we're going. <laughs> I don't know if you're joking or not. Um, um, me, Catherine, finds it very funny because Katie is what I was called when I was growing up. So oh. that is fun fact. Okay. And and she's a halfling. Oh, and I and I, Catherine, am a halfling too. It's like that's just <laughs> true in my life. <laughs> the bartender was a human, and that Katie was a yeah a halfling. So just, yeah, so yeah. Katie, mm-hmm. short version. Uh, All right, disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you exit this uh, start here bar, and you turn left, and the the uh, blue. Katie would have told you this, your DM neglected to, but he kind of inferred it. The blue stone road is essentially what you follow, and uh, it will jut off to where the next bar you need to go to. Um, and so the next one, you turn left, and so you're going north now on the Chaos Crawl. Uh, as I said, it's a spiral, so it will obviously change direction. Mm-hmm. The next one you, you uh, come upon is called We Have Ale. And you enter this one, and it's very, it's, uh, um, the outside of it is, is wood planked, and it's carved with various people's names, and, you know, it's just tagged up. And you go into it, and it's a pretty good bar, and there's some music, someone playing on a lute, a uh, bard is playing on a lute, and um, the bar is in the center, and the blue stonework leads you to the bar, and there's a little cutout spot where the stone ends, and it's easy enough to assume that this is like a cutout spot in the bar for people on the chaos crawl. And as you approach the bar, a uh, gentleman approaches you with a big, thick beard and uh, a bald head and says, looks at your hands and says, oh, all right, chaos scroll and uh, all right, it's just ale here. So as you might assume, it's just the place is called We Have Ale. So uh, here's here's your, your drinks and... Uh, also, when you guys look down at your marking on your hand, you see, like, a little um, blue dot where you started. And this so is pretty. He pours oh. the ales for you. It's just pale ale, so you got a pint there. Thank you so uh, much. This was so lovely of you. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, yeah. Word of advice, you know, be strategic about where you put your short rests um it's difficult when you're in a group because everyone is going to want it at different points and uh it can cause dissension in the group so wow thank you you have and what is your name hamilton ah wouldn't that have been cool if it was something like i don't know cat or something (laughs) 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 <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Hamilton. <laughs> Arabia started it. sipping her her beer. Um, Hamilton, hi. Uh, can I touch your beard? Ooh. <laughs> can I touch your hands? 
deal. Oh my god, <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Two drinks in, and we're already getting lucky. N- Nyla says yes. <laughs> yes, yes, you may touch my hand. All right, so you guys touch each <laughs> <laughs> It's it's so full and thick. I don't know if Tritons have webbed, like slightly webbed hands because of the- Nihilus does. Whether or not they do, Nihilus does. Okay. Yeah. And that's what he's looking at, so Does your, does your webbing like stretch? Um I mean not really. Alright. I don't know why. Did you, are you did you are you like sweet talking him after he already gave us our drink? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. All right. So you guys fondle. I feel like we should have that. <laughs> fondle. Okay. I'm sorry. This is gone I'm too like far. fairly positive that Richard is blushing. Like I don't know if it's just the gradation of like what your uh, screen is picking up, but I think you are blushing. <laughs> <laughs> Pratty <laughs> Pratty turns to Sarah and Aradia and goes, "Must make bowling pretty hard." <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess not only did hear that one. Um. <laughs> oh, uh, um, great! So, are you done fondling? Can we move on? Yeah, I won't it make was you. Lovely meeting you, Hamilton. <laughs> yeah, it was nice meeting you too. What was your name? <laughs> Jasper. Oh, okay, Jasper. Good luck out there and uh, stay safe. I've never Thank met you. a Triton before. Yeah. Thanks. Remember how pleasant we were. If you have any friends on the pub crawl, feel free to call them and tell them how nice we are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I gotta get back to work now. Uh, um, and at this point, cool. you guys hear like a do-do-do. And... <laughs> I don't know why I made that choice, but your your uh, sending snakes are attuned to you now. So go ahead and make sure you have that marked in your wherever you're keeping track of your attunement slots, because you only get a certain amount of them. Oh, I don't know if I have that written down. I'll, okay, I'll find that. Oh, you know what? I don't think I have. Uh, I don't think it was put in mine. What am I looking for? Oh the yeah. Um, let me pull that up. I I use like a custom character sheet and manage like equipment. <laughs> manage equipment attunement. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. So yeah, it's what are they called? Manage equipment. And I believe I put it... Let me check. I think it probably got put in Sarah's. No, Sarah doesn't have one. Oh. Sarah wanted to make her life difficult and <laughs> do homeroom. Yeah, no. uh, I mean, good for you. You can still change it if you want. Like, I would migrate stuff over to a wizard or a sork or a whatever if you wanted. Maybe, yeah. Uh, okay. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> we can talk about it uh, uh, later. Okay, let me look at the homebrew. <sighs> I apologize. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Fucking, I put everything... Oh, no, I did. Ophidian of messaging. O-P-H-I-D-I-A-N. See if you can find that when you manage it. Yeah. I see it. It's beautiful. Um, I have added it. And now I will attune it. Um, Helix, Scafa, and Fossa of the ear is the anatomically correct portions of the ridges and valleys of your ear. Nice. So, Aradia, Prati, and Nihilus, did you find the Ophidian of messaging? Yeah, nice. I'm just trying to uh, uh, attune it. How do you okay. attune it? So, to... um, If you go to attunement, then you can <coughs> oh, okay. hit the little square and it attunes it. Got it, got it. Cool. Got so it. I'm looking at Aradia's now and she has the monk hand wraps as well as mm-hmm. the Ion stone. And mm-hmm. so her... Um, attunement slot should be full. 
Um, it let me do a third attunement. Yeah, no, you, of you have three total. But yes, yeah. But now, yeah, I can't do any more. Which is why I have the Faxer's Tome, but it's not attuned. Although I don't think you have to attune that. Certain one. things don't require attunement. Um, attunement is just like a balancing cool. tool for the system. Uh, cool. So you can't have like 35 magical items on you and just. It's just all balancing. Um, all right. Uh, where were we? You guys were leaving the We Have Ale, mm -hmm. and uh, you go outside, you follow the the uh, Chaos Stones, we'll call them, and the next place it leads you is called It's Middling at Best. Cool. Should we take turns sweet-talking the bar <laughs> bartenders? Yeah, sure. It's your turn. Go. Uh, okay. So you enter this, like, yeah. They they let you in. It's just like a, a house, like a nondescript house. And you enter, and you enter, I like, a... I take my shoes off. And... <laughs> okay. Um, you enter, and it's just like a living room is the first room you enter. And you look to your left, and there's a kitchen, and there's someone in there who's, like, cutting into some casserole or something. Uh, and to your right is uh, the dining room and someone's sitting there with an ale just looking into it, looking, swaying back and forth. Um, yeah. Uh, hello, we'd like to uh, take uh, partake in your beer crawl special today. Uh, the, lovely home. The woman in the kitchen... Uh, calls to you, calls you over, and says, "Yeah, that'll be in here. Uh, just to uh, warn you, we named it. It's middling at best for a reason, so don't expect oh. anything amazing." <laughs> no, hey, hey, come oh, on. Don't I'm put sure yourself down. I'm sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure your your ale or whatever you're serving like here <laughs> is wonderful. It's really and, not. And to be quite honest, I like mediocrity. It's fine. I like mediocrity. It's okay. We're fine. We just Middle have, is great. We've got ale and mead, and the mead is the one that we usually make people drink. It's not very good. It's make last them. year's. It's last year's uh, uh, boysenberries. So. Uh, Ooh, I love boysenberries. That's fun. You should call this That's tried and fun. <laughs> you guys are very nice, but I so I suggest you just pound it because if you spend too long trying to taste any nuances, you're gonna nuance whatever's in your stomach on the floor. Oh, oh my. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I. Oh, thank you so I much. I love a good pound. Chug. It. Nihilus chugs it and goes. Oh, 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 oh no, no, girl, you're right. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's not. Sorry, it's. Well, the good news it's is it tangy. should get better. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you can like, you can like feel it on the roof of your mouth. That's what it feels like. The mm, aftertaste. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. A tally fourth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys go to the next one. How do you guys want to do this? Um, just a matter of montage. <laughs> Montage. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, it would be like it would be like a, I guess, a skill challenge, for lack of a better term. Uh, so every after the um, every four drinks after eight, we're gonna make you roll a d one hundred. Great. And um, we'll say if you get. Um, we'll say we'll start at like 5% chance to make you roll on the carousing table so if you roll a 95 or over you're going to roll on the carousing table and then and what does uh, that mean again? what does that mean? so the carousing table if you remember uh, Prati and Aradia 
you did that in the second episode and that got you ah. into some interesting situations. Although to the benefit of Prodi, it you know he met his patron really fucking early. Um so after that, um uh it will be every four drinks it will increase Let me do the math real quick in my head. <laughs> so if it's every four drinks, it's like there's a le- after eight. And we'll do it every eight drinks. Am I doing the math right? Let me check. I hadn't. That's five bowls. So if we were doing it every eight drinks, then it would be like six times. It would go through like six times. Yeah, five, five Because there's half. 44. Yeah. Uh, so f- yeah, so we'll... After every eight drinks, we'll say instead, it will go up by five. So after 16 drinks, you'll have a 10% chance of rolling on the carousing table, which has a pretty good chance of you not being able to finish the chaos crawl if you roll on the carousing table. So it will go up by 5% every eight drinks. So by the end of it, it will be at 25%, I think. Is there anything we could do to like help our odds or anything or like uh sure we'll say would the rest help our odds yeah so we'll say um uh, if you have an uninterrupted rest which i will roll on my own to see if you do if anyone bothers you or whatnot um then uh yeah that will lower by five percent um cool so kind of sober up a little bit um and then also if you find anyone that can i don't know if i want to go this route of curing poison but i have resistance to poison uh, at level six i don't know how that works i know i put like a checkpoint in the chaos crawl where they check to see if you did any man- magical shenanigans which I shouldn't tell you but uh, <laughs> I already did um, oh yeah I have a spell protection from poison I can try to yeah uh, well, now you have that extra information so if you get caught on that they're not going to let you uh, you're not going to be out. Well, you're not going to be... They're not going to do anything to you. They're just going to be like, you didn't complete it. You che- you tried to cheat. Um, oh, so you can't use that spell. Okay. Uh, so, okay. So, after... Do so you guys go... Do you want to know the names of each place? Or I can... It's a, if you could list 42 pub puns... Then <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you spend no, time no. on coming up with them, then I want to hear them, but if it's just yeah. like... No, I, I didn't do 44, I just did uh, less than that. <laughs> Great. But, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> if you did 30, then I want to hear all 30 of them, but if it's like 8, yeah. then yeah, tell us the 8. <laughs> okay, so you, go to the, yeah. so you go to the next one, and uh, the 8th one is called the uh molly wag waggler and uh it's like uh like a flapperish bar and uh you get a um molly uh, (laughs) yeah let's get molly they hand you a flute uh, of like oh. champagne and it's got some oh, pieces. Not a flute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Justin Justin thought it was the instrument. Uh, uh, which is appropriate because Sarah probably would have thought the same thing. Uh, but it smells it smells like chocolate. Uh, and there's pieces of what you think are candy on it, and it's one of the highest priced drinks on the menu. Uh when you drink it, it tastes like urine. Oh, great uh, urine! So, just so you know, Aradia, <laughs> when she smelled it, she was like, "This is this smells amazing," and she's already a little drunk, so she just like put her tongue in. So it's just like, uh, <laughs> and then she immediately when she she's like, oh, "Oh my god, oh my god, it's like piss! It is like piss!" She's having a moment. 
Prady, Prady having already finished his, says, are you not going to finish yours? She has to. <laughs> no, of course I will. And then she just, like, gulps it all down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, and also, feel free while we're doing this to um, stop if you guys want to just talk to each other and find out more information about each other. If you want to take time to role play, please interrupt me. Um, but, uh... So this will be your eighth drink. So everybody roll a D100. So if you don't have a percentage die, you can roll two D10s by just rolling the tens column first and then the... Uh... Can I roll a, I can I roll a D... Box. Do you do a D10 and a D100 together? Yeah, to you use... Uh, I'll show you. Yeah, yeah, that's what, I'm, that's what I was thinking of doing. I used our dice spot and I got a 93. That was close. I know, that's close. They're very close. You guys, tiny, tiny, little, sweet, beautiful Niolis rolled a 22. <laughs> okay, you're good. Hey, I rolled a 23. Okay. I can't figure out my dice. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I got... An 80 and a 9. So 89? 89. Well, yeah, if you're rolling 2 D10s uh, instead of the percentage die. No, I have like... I have like oh, I yeah, you're good. Die has like, yeah, so, yeah, yeah 89, yeah. you're good. So if you would have rolled 95 or over, then that's when you roll on the carousing table. Um, you guys are good. You guys continue your way around around the chaos hold crawl. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Aradia has a question. She wants to talk to Prodi. She's a little drunk right now and so she's like Prodi so what is your deal exactly you're just you you want to be able to have not hands is is what your thing is huh well it's not just not hands it's <laughs> it's like wings you know like wings like yeah, so I can fly cool. because there's just something in me that knows having arms and fingers it just doesn't is not right like i should be flying you know what listen, i mean i want you yes and listen i want you to have what you want but also isn't it nice to have some dexterity happening you know isn't there some good about this well can't you be grateful for something <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> He's not your you. sister. <laughs> <laughs> you're you don't know what you're talking about. You're you're drunk. You're, I think you're I, drunk. I no, I'm just and I don't want you to take offense at this because I it's not like I don't understand your point, but I don't understand your point. So like so <laughs> I just am asking. I'm asking because I want to understand. Well, I'll still have my feet if I need to, you know, bowl. Hold or his rod. Hold <laughs> rod. <laughs> but I'll have wings <laughs> and I'll be able to fly. So you can fly. Be my true self. But aren't there like spells for that? I just don't yeah, get but that's, it. I don't get it. But that's that's temporary, and that's just using magic. That's a ra- not, a radio not changing who I am. A radio. Mm. Hi, a radio. It's Nihilus speaking. Hi, mm-hmm. a radio. I can hear you. Why are you talking into the snake when you're right by me? I can hear you. Listen, a radio. Uh, take it from me. I'm the professional. You're being a bitch. <laughs> oh, no, that's not what I wanted. You're, I just you're... wanted to understand because here's the thing: I've read a lot of books. I've read so many books. Okay, but bragging. I don't actually. Well, <laughs> listen, it's, I'm about to not brag, but I haven't interacted with very many things or people or creatures. So there's a lot that you can understand from books. I'm gangbusters at a riddle, but. You know what the biggest riddle is? Other creatures, right? And I don't know how to solve that riddle. So I'm just asking for help on solving the enigma that is you because I care about you, you know? Uh, you you, guys. You're, you're a sweetheart. You're a sweetheart. 
Oh, sweetheart of radio. Oh, come here. And she can, like, hugs oh. Brody. Oh, I love you so much. Oh. You're such a sweetie. <laughs> so, what is, so what's your deal, radio? What, <laughs> what, do, you, what do you want? I don't want to talk about it too much because I will start crying. <laughs> but what I can say is, growing up, I didn't really have a lot of friends, right? The books were my friends. And That's I don't sad. know if you guys know this, but I am 277 years old. I am old. You am don't look a day over old. 200. Thank you. That's <laughs> sweet of you. But so... All of my best friends. And were you're both. still not married? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mom. God. <laughs> but so all my friends were books. And then the eraser, ha- the eraser, the eraser, the eraser, the eraser happened. <laughs> and, and, and all my friends were taken from me. And I didn't have friends anymore. Oh. And then I had to find out. I, oh, excuse me. And then I had to find <laughs> out how to like live in this world, and I still don't know how to do it. And all I want is to get my friends back. All I want is to get my friends back. What happened I to your friends? To... What happened? They, they, just, they, they were got booked, erased, and then, and then they got erased, and now they're gone. You know that book that I have in March? Oh, so me? not your people, but your. No, so. I don't have. I don't have. <laughs> people friends i have no people friends you are my first people people friends (laughs) well yes obviously i don't know if you guys know this my charisma's a nine (laughs) (laughs) you know it's a real thing but no you guys are my first friends and i and honestly you mean a lot to me You mean a lot to me. I know I'm a weirdo, and I know that, like, I, I have odd. <laughs> Not a weirdo. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. We're only eight drinks in. How are we going to fucking do this? <laughs> <laughs> One quarter of the way through. <laughs> And the, um, the okay. bartender, Ooh. the bartender goes, "You guys aren't gonna make it, <laughs> <laughs> but good luck." And We've so, got to be thoughtful about these short rest, guys. We have to be thoughtful about this. And uh, so, uh, the next few bars you go to, you you, um, you get to the okay. You know, well, fuck it, we'll do it. You go to the uh, Thames Tavern Brothel. And uh, you get a drink there, and I can, mm. uh, we'll say it's a uh, brandy, and... Uh, Sarah, are you yeah. selling yourself here? Sarah, is there, <laughs> are you going to go have sex now? <laughs> do, do we have time on the pub crawl to make a quick... <laughs> I think it's as long as we want, right? It's as long as we want. <laughs> to, to make a quick sale, yeah. They, they would have told you, like... Um, there's you need to do it within a uh, 12 hour period so oh i i say really loudly in the bar like if anyone wants to have the, uh, love with me uh then <laughs> call me in 12 hours and leave Lo- a card take my cards and then i'll come back that's optimistic sarah love <laughs> <laughs> no. she's a lover not a sexer uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm selling uh, long conversations about your personality. <laughs> we could go on a picnic together if you want. I'll go on a picnic with you. Okay, so uh, you go through a few more. You go to the uh, the Licky Lich, which is just no. which is just. <laughs> A down and dirty, like it, it's just a demon <laughs> licking things. <laughs> you don't want to touch surfaces in this place, um, but they give you. Uh, Sarah touches everything. This, this is like home for her. Uh, like, um, a radio like walks over to Sarah. She goes, "I don't know if I told you this. I think you are very sexy. You're very sexy. Aww. I don't. I don't." Um, sleep with my friends 
but you are sexy. Well, we all sleep together to every that. night. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't want to make the bed, bed uncomfortable, you know? I don't want to make the bed uncomfortable. But just yeah. know whenever I'm big spooning you, I'm happy. I just wanted to tell oh. you that. I hope that's not weird. Oh no! I've been doing Kegels and uh, and using a new moisturizer. <laughs> Kegels is probably too strong of a word. <laughs> Just the robot. Wow! <laughs> now keep it tight, girl. You keep it tight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they serve you uh, just. They call it the John Bitter, and it's just bitters in a little tiny, tiny, tiny sipper thing, and it's disgusting because it's just bitters. And uh, mm. <laughs> uh, you get out of there. And um, next place you go to is called the Level Drunk, and they give you an IPA. And uh, Level Drunk. Uh, who wants to make a just a general charisma check. Don't make I me do it. Charisma, I think. Yeah, you're charisma a little plus five. I think someone has someone has higher than me though. I have plus three. I'm sixteen plus three. Okay. Um, or just plus three. Plus, plus five. Sixteen is my base. Yeah. Oh, so it's not your saving. It's the saving throw modifier. It's your charisma. Yeah, I've, I'm fifteen plus two. So yeah, you're higher than me. <laughs> Um, I did not do well. <laughs> so drunk. <laughs> I have a total of seven. Cool. Okay, so uh, yeah, you get a full pour. Uh, if you succeed on these, you get partial pours and you get uh, a uh, a benefit to your carousal uh, role. Uh, um, oh, so we should just all do it then. No, this is going to be no. This is going to be okay. like a. Uh, one of you is going to do it, and then he that person won't be able to do it again until everybody's mm. gone through it. Um, okay. Uh, Sorry, guys. Uh, it's okay. We'll say oh. you offended the bar, the bartender somehow, which is not hard to believe. Who's <laughs> 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 talking? And uh, I just hey, bitch, can you pour us a drink? <laughs> yeah. Stylus, yeah. you're turning into me. You have to stop. <laughs> yeah, Korea, you're better than this. I'm not. I'm truly not. And uh, so you guys I'm make it out not. of out of the level drunk and you get to the eighth place which is the annoying leg ale house which you were told about earlier is the establishment of Gern's ex-wife uh, who named it after him and uh, she is mending tending the bar and uh, yeah uh, she hands you a uh, an ale and uh, says you guys are going on the chaos roll huh just be careful out there. You got to make sure you have all your precious belongings in a good spot. Is that a threat? No, no, no it's not a threat. No. Also, what is it like? Because I feel like people are probably toasty by the time they get to you. Do you get to have any real connections with anyone? <laughs> this is a podcast and people can't see the weird things i keep doing with my face it makes me so sad because yeah. it's part of it i know she's just like it's like she's, she's a toddler feeling someone's face but it's her own face yes that's exactly what it is that's what's happening uh and she goes well i don't know that i look to make connections with people uh, on the chaos crawl, they're putting themselves through quite a marathon, and I try to just make sure they. Yeah, I'm just. Is it stop. because love has jaded you? Oh. Are you referring to my husband? Yeah, he's a right <laughs> prick. Uh, Super. Referring you said to him. husband instead of ex husband. Are you still in love with him? No, it was just a slip <laughs> of the tongue. No, it's. Okay. Uh, that not only was he a prick, but he he had restless leg syndrome, and so he'd kick me in the middle of the night and oh. couldn't sleep, and hence the is name that what of the bar. He, is that what he said? Restless <laughs> leg. Can I can I show you what my first love looked like? You ready? <laughs> <laughs> Listeners, I highly encourage you to go back and watch the VOD of this episode. Uh, there's things going on 
that <laughs> if I might forget to verbally describe for you, but uh, so, just so what curious. just happened was what just happened was I lifted my lips away from my mouth so you could see as if I were a skeleton, like only see my gums and teeth. Healthy, healthy gums and teeth. So. Thank you. My dentist disagrees, but I appreciate you feeling that way. Uh, okay, so you guys get through the eighth. Everybody roll um, another. So we're at. Um, let me just. Oh, I I did it. I rolled a ninety-eight. No! I rolled a ninety-eight. Ninety-nine. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> 99 that's nuts well i mean a radio is very drunk so i guess that makes sense <laughs> i got a 52 Brad. and i'm i'm a 37 still holding it in there on it <laughs> Dookie, Dookie. so uh proddy roll a d100 <laughs> Ninety. <laughs> Do you want me to roll my ten also to see what exactly what it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five. Okay, so Brody. Sometimes did three of you get in the in no, the, just Prody rolled two. a. Oh, who a radio did too. Yeah, I got a 98. Wow. Um, all right. Uh, 99. Damn. Damn. Do you want to use Brody's <laughs> roll, or do you want to roll your own carousing table roll? I think I want to roll my own, right? Because 95 is not... Uh, uh, well, I'm just saying, because like it, it might put you... If you use his, you'll probably be with him if anything happens. If you guys get Fine. separated, I'll do it. I'm not. I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> We're together. It's Come fun. on. It's going to be fun. <laughs> They've already bonded. It's okay. Uh, so, sometime in the next few um, uh, spots, you stop on the Chaos Crawl, Prodi, and Aradia start talking to this weather, weather, rather well-dressed uh academic uh professor with a bag with bagpipe strapped strapped to her back and obviously <laughs> that's very odd and interesting that's a look and uh, yeah um you guys are Aradia's talking like a radio leans over she's like i want to tell you about the fibonacci sequence i think it's the most beautiful set of uh, numbers that I've ever seen. What, what do you feel about it? She goes, well, she's, she, she, you find out she's a uh, professor at the uh, uh, wandering uh, college of Inista in the Bardic College portion of the university, and so she's a teacher of bards, and uh, uh, Nihilus and Sarah uh, you guys are doing uh, talking to other people, and you turn around, and the three of them are gone. Uh, Aradia and Brody and the Bardic professor, and she takes you to uh, Nihilus and Sarah. Don't obviously know this, but I'm telling uh, Aradia and Prody. She takes you to um, the. Uh, the trenches wench uh, on mm -hmm. the island, and uh, is that on the crawl? Uh, well, you'll find out. Um, <laughs> but basically, they disappear. So right now, it's um, it's uh, it does is it is it as popular as the wench's trench? <laughs> <laughs> is that, is you'll find out. Uh, What's okay. the place called again? Witches? Trenches the, Winch. The Trenches, trenches went, Winch. Yeah. 
you guys can I'll let you guys decide what you go there back what what how she convinces you to come back with her and what you're interested in and what she shows you whatever uh but we'll continue with the the uh other two participants but right now you did you're you've skipped part of the crawl so you're kind of out of you didn't make it on the crawl so it's um Sarah and Nihilus you guys can continue uh the crawl on with just the two of you or if you want to quit now you can it's up to you I don't want to quit Sarah those bitches yeah. left us they dropped <laughs> out we got to keep going okay they're and always ruining the party i know <laughs> oh yeah it was you two again oh i just put that together <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I could I have fun tonight. <laughs> uh, we'll take a we'll take a five minute break right now, um, okay. and then hop back in. Okay. Yay! All right. See you in five. Yeah.
All right, we are back from our break, and unfortunately, we had Prodi and Aradia not make their roles pretty Losers. early on, and so now it's just for the time being, it's uh, uh, Nihilus and Sarah. <clears throat> and How many places have we visited? I think you're up to. Uh, that was on the 16th place, right? 16. Yeah, that yeah. was the 16th okay. place. Um, and so. Next one you go to is let's see that one was okay. Then you go to this was a good idea, mm -hmm. uh, and then you go to the flumpy flump and uh, the bros tava temple, and then uh, the final one of the eight is Garl's gold and glitter, and this is a fancy bro tava temple that's actually very. More templeish than it is Tave or Bro, um, but it's these these Bro Tava temples are made to kind of uh, satirize gods and followers of gods, and so in this world where gods actually do stuff um, and are real. Uh, it's pretty ballsy that all these places, these certain, there's a lot of Brotava temples that are kind of taunting gods, but something has allowed them to stay open and not be closed. Um, but this is probably the least of those because it's two Garl Glitter Gold, which you previously were in a temple of his in uh, Innis, and he's the trickster god. Uh, uh, and uh, so you guys, go ahead and I guess it's has to be Sarah's turn to do a charisma check with the bartender. Damn. Uh, hey, how's it going? I just want to be best friends. One second, please. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and roll uh, to see if I like you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, 17. Ooh. Oh, okay, yeah, so that'll help you out. That'll um, take you to 86. Seven. So, um, and I'll run through a few. Oh. Yeah, wait, do I add? Do I add a saving throw on that one? No, you, no saving throw. It's just you're adding your charisma ability modifier. So, what's your? Uh, what's your? But do I add? Do I add my proficiency bonus as well? Uh, no, it's just straight charisma. Oh, okay. Check. Yeah. So, so okay. So, seven. But you're good. Enough. You made it. Um. Uh, you guys have gone through a few places. One of them had uh, Old Stinky. One of their drinks was called Old Stinky, and it's brown with floating debris in it. Nope. It's a fungus ale mm. that the guy spent a lot of time in the under in in the underdark and uh, collected a lot of fungus and brewed ale out of it. Aradia, you can ask her if she's had any of fungus type ale before. No, she's not no, there they though. Can't. Yeah, no, I'm no. saying once you get okay. back with her. If, <laughs> if you get back, I'm not I'm not going to do that. Um, uh, and then you also get more ale, more wine. And so every, uh, just you two make the carousing check. Um, you need an 87, okay. an 87 or below to be okay and not roll on the carousing table. I got a 62. I got a 64. Okay, you guys are good, and you still have those short rests, oh. so you can take that at any time, and that will uh, increase the the check by five, so it'll be more in your favor if you take your short rest. Up to you. Should we do it now? Are you, wait, is there like a statistician about? I guess if it's five percent each time, then and we're about like yeah. halfway through now, right? Okay, yeah, let's let's yep. take one now. Yeah. Okay, we'll do our short rest. Okay, so time goes by, and uh, um, uh, at the end of this, Aradia and Prati, uh, or when you guys come back, I will ask you what the reason was for uh, going with this professor whose name is Albertha Curse. Oh, God. Um, she was, like, middle-aged. She wasn't super old. Uh... What, like you guys can come up with a reason for why you went with her to the trenches, wench. I have a reason. If you don't want to, 
come up with the reason, uh, but I'd rather you guys do it if you want. Um, uh, oh, there's a I good, mean, there's a good name, reason. There's a great reason. Okay, we'll find there's out. There's a great reason. Um, you guys keep going, and you go to Furrows and Fox. You go to the Dwarf Father, which is another Brotava temple that's <laughs> making fun of Moradin. You go to another one called Destiny's Raven, which is making fun of the Raven Queen, and that's very dark and, like, gothy uh, Brotava mm. temple. Um, and, uh... Roddy, or excuse me, uh, Nihilus, it's your turn to make the charisma check at the end of this eighth <laughs> one. E. I got 13. That won't do it. Damn it. Okay. And I'm sorry, you guys took the short rest? Yes. Yes. Okay, so back up to we 87. Have one left, right? Yep. Um, I believe, if I'm correct, we're on 32. This is the fourth one, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. So roll your carousing table check again. You need an 87 again. Oh, no. Uh, I, I got a 64 again. Like, I, the same. Crazy. I got a 99. Uh, wow. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. All right. Goodbye, Sarah. Maybe. No. <laughs> Do any of you have uh, inspiration banked? I thought I it do. went away after oh. a while. No, you can carry one over. Oh, I have an inspiration. Oh. But yeah. 99 won't. Yeah. yeah, 99 wouldn't, even if you got a 10, that wouldn't take it to below the 87. So, um, mm -hmm. uh, Unless... Hold on. hold on, please. I'll let you guys roll the inspiration uh, for this instance, I guess. Um, I can, if if I fail, is this considered a saving throw? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what? Never mind. That's only a 2d4. That wouldn't help me anyway. Wait, 2d4 could be like 8 points, right? And then Yeah, but I would need more than 8. If you use your inspiration I would need as well. Like Oh, and what's the inspiration of D8? D10. D10. Okay, I'm going to use my Favored by the Gods okay. uh, feature, because I'm wonderful. Ooh. And uh, I'm going to roll 2D4. And also a D10. Okay. Sorry, sorry, Dave, you look very uh, bored. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I guess this is my regular face. I know. I think Dave just has resting board face. That's I all. got 13. <laughs> uh, total with your inspiration? Uh-huh. Someone help me with that math. 99 minus 13. It's 86. Oh, you did it. There you go. So you did it. Wow! Yeah. Cool. Good job. Make sure you... Um, I'll mark it off. Yeah, get rid of your inspiration. Uh... Okay, so congrats. It's still Nihilus and Sarah's show. Feel free to oh. RP if you feel and interrupt me. But you guys continue on. And you go to Gon's Wonders. You go to Too Much Head, which is a satirical Brotava no temple of, of Tiamat. And uh, <laughs> thank you. I, that was my favorite one. Because she has multiple heads, multiple dragon heads. Um, you go to one called The Lord's Rack, which is a, a making fun of... These are top tier names, Jake. The Lord's I just want to commend you. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for giving me uh, credit for it because I spent some time on it. Um, that one's making fun of a larder. And then the next one is... Uh, Baha Smut, which is <laughs> making fun of Bahamut. I got that one. That one made me giggle. And then sh uh, there's one called the Shagging Shar, which is uh, sh making fun of Shar. Uh, and uh, oh, uh, oh, there's a Will Tell You Lies exclamation point, which is making fun of Vecta. <laughs> 
Um, box. Tell me lies. Sweet little lies. Sweet little lies. Vox and the Pussycats. And there's uh, Sticky Spider, which is a Lolf one. Uh, <laughs> there's Apocapis, which is real kinky. Ew. <laughs> real kinky. Uh, Maybe one of another uh, god. Uh, the Kitty and the Cord is another one. Which Cord is a, uh, a god. And yeah, so you guys make it to the eighth one. It is uh, Sarah's Charisma check time. Yeah. Um, ooh, that is a four. Okay, so that <laughs> doesn't do it. Um, but you guys want to take a short rest before this one, or no? That's your last mm-hmm. one, right? Yep. Oh, this, this is the last one. To, this will bring you up to forty. Uh, and then there's four more after that, and we will say. Uh, sure. Why not? Let's take a rest. Okay. Yeah, sure. All right, so you're back up to 87. You need 87 or below on the carousing oh, check. Okay. okay, I got a 65. Yay, 26. Cool, 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 cool. You guys are fucked up. You guys are drunk oh. AF, <laughs> but you're hanging in there. We're having fun. And yeah, I'm trying to make out with Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like <laughs> reaching up. <laughs> okay, you guys go to the Temple of Mira, which is not cleverly named because Mira is the goddess of love and parties and whatever. It's just like, no, this is a temple. This is her temple. This is what she does. Uh, um, and uh, you get to the trenches, wench, on your 42nd uh, trip. Uh, or bar, and um, you find during between that time when you en- enter the trenches, wench, and when Aradia and Ni- uh, Prati took off, you'll have to ask them what they did in that time. But you find them in the bar area, drinking or not drinking, it's up to them. But you find hey, them. Hey, guys! Hey, witches! Aradia has her get- tongue in Prati's ear. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, it tickles. <laughs> you, like you guys that. finish the crawl? Where, Where are you? Show, sh- show us your hands. Yeah, so you, see, your- you, see uh-huh. their, you see their hands, and it's actually pretty beautiful. They've hit uh-huh. everyone, and there's only uh, two spots left. And uh, oh, yeah. oh, that's yeah. dope. We Where are like, are? we didn't do it. Where you smell that? Can I smell you? it? No, bitch. Where were you? <laughs> Do we met this woman? Her name was Alberta Curse. I Isn't that like a that. fun name? No, it's disgusting. She had the <laughs> bagpipe, and she she was she, she, she bards. But how to bard? She bards bards with bards. She Bars. slams her body on you? Is that what you're trying to say? No, like people who sing the bard. She's the got a oh, hot, and she's got a hot bard. <laughs> <laughs> when you're drunk, it's harder to understand you. That she is true for me took, too. She took us to the trenches wench, which is <laughs> where all the her trench. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we did. We were very, we were respectful. You're such a fam. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for bringing back that word. <laughs> she when when it was when it was over, I asked her to play Amazing Grace, and she did, and I wept like a like a little <laughs> chicky. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but the reason why we went with her is because she has these piercing eyes. Her eyes were so piercing, they told a story. And that story was one of ultimate love and acceptance. And I felt like, I felt like I finally understood who I am and my place in the universe. And it was beautiful. Yeah, she didn't, she didn't see my feathers or my height or my beak. 
She just saw me, man. <laughs> she just saw me. <laughs> I you... felt like I could be as weird as I needed to be, and she just loved constant love. She offered to give us some free bard lessons, but we said, no, we got to get back to our friends to crawl. We're probably way behind, so. But then you just stayed here anyway. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, wait. Are you ready? This is what she taught me. Yes. Yes. Oh, my love has come around. Wow. Ooh. My lonely days yeah, yeah. are oh, over. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and <laughs> life is like a song. I, I don't know if it's related, but I do need to throw up. <laughs> you guys have like it's, probably the, it's probably the 40 drinks you had. <laughs> Um, Aradia pushes like this on Nihilus' face. Hey, Nihilus, can I tell you something? I know you pretend to be a little bitch-ass bitch. I know. I know that you are a good person with a good heart. You shut up. I will tell you that right now. Shut up. I know. Shut your mouth. So heartbroken over not being able to give your sister a better life. Wishing that she could have been a better person, but she wasn't. And you take it on you. And I see it and I love it. And I think you're so worthy of love, Nihilus. I think you're so worthy of love. (laughs) Nihilus starts crying. (laughs) (laughs) Breakthroughs. Breakthroughs. Uh, so oh, radio starts crying too. They're just hugging each other. Yeah. <laughs> so I look over to Sarah and I'm like, "So, like, anything happen between you and Nihilus? Like, what's <laughs> the deal?" <laughs> he made that with my belly button. Well, <laughs> 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 the way we can give inspiration, right? Because I want to give one inspiration for that. That was beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> so you have a. Uh, a uh, a player inspiration which expires at the end of the episode, and you have a DM inspiration for me just now, which doesn't expire. Oh, but if you already had a inspiration for me that you were holding over, it won't c- carry over because you can only carry over yeah. one. So, um, well, listen, you should yeah. have all the inspirations, so I give you mine <laughs> freely. Thanks. So yeah, uh, I think Alberta thought it was going to be like an admissions interview at some point uh she was under the wrong assumption but she ended up just going along with it that you guys clearly didn't understand what she was either said or intimated um but but yeah you you you, uh prati or aradia do you want to do any perceptions checks to steal from her or are you good yeah no, of course I'll steal. Hold on one okay. second. Wow. Um, <laughs> because she was ultimate love. She'll accept me even if I steal from her. Okay. So <laughs> um, I'm rolling a D20. Some part of me forgot. Yeah, D20. Oh my God. I got a nat 20 and I have plus six. So. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, so when you we're go. We're stealing some shit. So you go to her room in the trenches, wen- wench, and she just left a coin purse in the corner of the um, next to the bedside table, kind of like half under the bedside table. Like, it's a good hiding spot, but she's a <laughs> a, uh, a professor, a bard professor, so maybe she's not experienced at that, but... Um, she, just to check, she does have a steady income, right? Like, she has a paycheck. Yeah, she works... <laughs> She works, yeah, she works for the uh, Wandering College of Inista, so... Okay. Yes. Uh, I don't feel years. so bad then. I just wanted to make sure we weren't leaving her destitute, you know. Not no. trying to pull that. You're, you're, uh... You're, did you want to try to steal it? Yeah. Okay. Um, go ahead and roll a, a sleight of hand check. Wait. Didn't she just roll a 26? Or is, or that was is perception. That was That's perception. perception. Oh. oh. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> so I know it's there. Let's see if I can take it. <laughs> 10 plus 3. 13. 
Okay, let me roll for her. Uh, yeah, you're good. She rolled a six plus, um, plus nothing. So, uh, you get off yes, with yeah. it and let me roll some rando money stuff. Rando money stuff. Rando money stuff. That's the jingle. Mm. Mm-hmm. No one was as impressed with that as I hoped they would be. Mm. That was beautiful. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I appreciate that, Justin. <laughs> you find 11 gold and... A diamond. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, four silver. Wow. Yeah. And, Eleven gold and four silver. Um do you uh I would assume that <sighs> Yeah. Maybe I'll not even ask. Uh I would assume no. Sarah and Nihilus, you guys would have been too sloshed to like want to try to steal from somebody. Plus, you might be rolling with disadvantage because you're sloshed. Uh, what do you think, Nihilus? Well, can I... What do I see around me? Like, does anyone look like they have anything I want to take from them? Well, early on, um, make a perception check. We'll do it in a three-stage thing, I guess. Uh, I'm going to get my uh, I got a ten. Okay, so you don't notice anything of value uh, at the beginning. Go to the middle of the... We're at the middle of the crawl. Make another perception check. Uh, Twelve. Nope. And make another perception check with disadvantage for the end. Uh, what's disadvantage? You roll 2d20 and you take the lowest. Okay. Uh, three. Nope. Okay. Damn. Yeah, you don't notice anything. Um, it's okay. I'm having a good time. <laughs> uh, okay. Roddy, did you want to try to steal from this woman? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, I'm not we like... about this, like, this like, existential realization with her, and we're like, yeah, let's steal from her. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about me asking you guys that, but um, uh, go ahead and roll your perception, uh, Dave. I looked that up. Perception. Uh, uh, plus two. Okay. Sixteen. Okie dokie. Right. One second. I mean, it's her fault for making herself so vulnerable. You could justify it that way. We don't victim blame here. Thank you very much. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. um, In the cor, in the um, off to the side, like where you would um, uh, like the wash basin is for just washing your face and hands and stuff. Um, she's got a backpack there, and, uh, you can try to, while Aradia is, like, doing Aradia things to her, you can try to look through it and pickpocket her. Yeah. yeah, let's do it. Slide this of hand. Is, this, is, this is the same woman who put, like, four other things throughout the room. <laughs> like, <is> she, <laughs> like, what if she, like, just, like, is, like, really paranoid about people's things? <laughs> what do you mean four other things? Wait, yeah, did she, she, the, she had the thing, the purse under the table. <laughs> yeah. That, that radio just stole? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's funny, yeah, okay. Okay. I got 14. <laughs> it's perception check. Oh my god. 11, so, um, yeah. <laughs> you find a, uh, one of those, um, those spoon instruments that people tap on their leg. 
<laughs> and and oh, they just spoons? Yeah, like spoons. Is that what they're called? <laughs> they're called spoons. <laughs> and then and then you find a wooden a wooden nose whistle. Oh. And okay. uh you also find some uh perfume. Uh Ooh. just generic perfume, and you find a potion. But well, what's its top note and its bottom note? That's what I want to know. What's the top note and the bottom note of this perfume? Rosemary and... Oh, I'm sorry, Jake. I didn't mean to... (laughs) Rosemary and... uh, Bubble gum. Oh! Oh, so this is a gross perfume. Got it. (laughs) You You find a generic healing potion, Prodi. (laughs) Nice. <laughs> I'm still just like picturing the four of us super drunk just like stumbling <laughs> around this woman's room just like taking <laughs> no uh, it would it would have just been Aradia and Prati but uh, oh okay okay yeah uh, where were we oh yeah wait can I try and steal something from <laughs> not, not from her room no she doesn't know uh, okay. you um, oh yeah uh, so you guys are on the last part of the journey, and you make it to the um, guttered Gurn, which is these former adventurers uh, who hate Gurn, and you make it to finally make it to the. Um, uh, you go through you won't the place called you won't re- remember this place, and then you go to uh, the end of it, which is um, the. Uh, piecing key, uh, which is Gurn's place, and he grumpily says, "What do you want?" And hi, Gurn. I've heard lovely things. You're such a great person. Uh, we're Stop on a yelling. Call. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 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 we're, we're on a web crawl. You're obnoxiously <laughs> tall. <laughs> I know. I'll I'll kneel <laughs> when I get on my knees. She's um, beautiful, just the way you. she is with all her nastiness. You guys are finishing the crawl. You guys are yeah, successfully. It's impressive, uh, mm-hmm. but you guys smell terrible. Uh, well, uh, your drink is uh, I poured it last week, so here you go. <laughs> Oh, thanks. Any, any... like a what's that called? A moose bush or what's it? A mise en a moose bush. Blas? Mise en blas? Do you, a moose you, bush. You said like a... you set aside your ingredients. Oh, the last time scene cooking. <laughs> yeah. So this drink is like in a pretty plain mug, and it's pretty. It's it's pretty. It's sapphire with dark swirls in it. Uh, similar, oh. similar to the. Uh, Chaos crawl uh, sign on your hand. Uh, it smells horrible. Like it smells like any LA uh, um, alley street. Uh, <laughs> so piss and rotting milk and yep. poop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And uh, he goes, here you go. Uh, if you're, uh, please just drink it outside. What? Can I like, can I, what's it called when you like, like an insight check or something? Cause I want to, I want to know if there's like a trap if he's trying to like kill us. Sure. Go ahead and roll an insight check. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. So I rolled a 19 and. I have saving throws in that, in Wisdom, but I also have a plus four, so 23. Yeah, you don't do saving throw. Uh, it's just, oh, okay. the, uh, if you're, yeah. So you're, you rolled quite well. Um, no, you don't think he's trying to kill you, um, but he wants you to step outside because presumably you're at the end of a ridiculously long uh, pub crawl and, you know, it's a terrible drink and... <laughs> People probably throw up. That won't disqualify you from the completing the crawl, but um, that's why he wants you to step outside. 
Uh, okay, cool. Uh, uh, thanks. We'll go finish this up and then come back and get our prize. Yeah, whatever. Uh, and so you drink it and you come back in, and he says, "Just look at your hand." And so um, you notice that all the spots are filled out, and um, uh, now you have a. Uh, there are five circles in in between the lines of the swirl and uh magical uh, they're kind of glowing but the the uh original we'll call it a tattoo uh the original tattoo is fading um it's not as bright as it once was uh but it's not going away completely it's like almost like you got a uh a translucent tattoo or something with a little tint in it um but the marks are uh more prominent than the outside swirl. So let me just draw it because I don't feel like I'm doing a good job explaining it. It's like uh um like while fate. we're doing this Richard Yes. Fate. <clears throat> Richard the anime. your little um <laughs> Pac-Man. <laughs> your yeah, Pac-Man over to the side. I oh. thought it was a little emoji that you had in your window. Like I I didn't realize it was real until it started changing colors and then i was like that's a real <laughs> light that you have in your so the bigger circles are what just appeared yeah. and then the dots on the spiral are there are a lot more of them i didn't fill it all out um obviously for each spot you hit um mm -hmm. but those uh five circles are now on your hand and presumably that is your your ticket Bye. that is your ticket to ride <laughs> anything you want whenever you want and it starts fading after a few minutes and um yeah it's barely noticeable now um so yeah you've done Yay! it we did it uh, we celebrate by passing out on the street <laughs> <laughs> and right right there there's some ministers who are just waiting that's like their spot um <laughs> And they pull up the cart that rotates, and they throw you on it. <laughs> and uh, uh, you can resist if you want. You don't have to. I I wake up like oh oh I'm fine. I just got a little. Yeah, a little so they leave you alone. Yeah, they leave you alone. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that's where mm. we will. Uh, <laughs> wow, this is <laughs> going. Uh, deep. Popping in and out. Uh, this is where we will leave it for the week, and we'll come back next week for episode 12. Oh, you guys want to hear some of the other names I had for these things? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I had, this was a good idea. We're almost done, right? I don't feel so good. Fuck it, we've come too far. You won't remember this place. The Glow in, in Firkin, which, and it's just called TGIF. Um, uh, the In You're In. Uh, uh, what else? Yeah. Ninth Lair, which is Asmodeus, Brotava Temple, Trivrix's, uh, Azaza Zaza, which is a, an evil <laughs> god's, uh, Brotava Temple, and, uh, yeah, that's what I got. So, you hit, you hit some of those. I didn't mention them because we were speeding things along, but yeah. You guys completed it, and you guys... Good job, sir. Yeah, good job. Very expensive um, free tickets. Ho. Just, Yo ho. just to bring back something I mentioned earlier, that tattoo looks like the Fibonacci sequence. So thank you very much for that. <laughs> You're welcome. It's not, in, it's not in perfect geometry like the sequence, uh, but it's yeah. I see what Just you're saying. Just let me have this, Jake. Just let me have it. If you were a true math nerd, you would have been like, "Is it in perfect ge geometrical shape? Like, does it? Can you divide it in two repeatedly, or whatever the fucking sequence is?" Are you questioning my math nerdiness? And that's where is we'll that leave what it. We're doing right now. And that's where we'll leave it today. Thanks for joining us. Roll for a stamina. Come on, let's do this. We're battling. I'm ready for this shit. No. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, cool. and uh, come back next week, 11 a.m. We've changed the time. And uh, yeah, thanks for listening 
and uh, have a good one.